had a million dollar idea today, Brian, as I was getting my root canal finished at the dentist. Oh. Office. <laughs> um, the dentist, I, like, I already had the root canal and crown. I just get my permanent filling put in, and he's about to like stick the the drill in to like shave it down or whatever. And he's like, he goes, if only they just made these things quieter. And I'm just there thinking. Let's just invent a a drill, noise canceling drill, a noise canceling drill, to put you know so you don't even hear it. That's the worst part of the dentist is that just <laughs> hear, yeah. Because <laughs> even when they numb your teeth, you still hear this. Last time I was there, the dental hygienist, she was like, "Oh my goodness," and she like <laughs> she like stuck this <laughs> stuck that hook in my mouth, and then she like yanks at my gum, and she everything just comes with it. It's just like. <laughs> That's and she's like, it's like dripping. Stop. And she's like, you really, she said, you really need to like, you know, brush your teeth. And Jeez, that Louise, because John. it's like, it's like this. And I was like, that's because you just chainsawed my gum. Oh. Was, gosh. No, I don't, I don't like the dentist. Dentist ain't my thing. Welcome to the podcast this evening. Uh, Charlie is not with us, unfortunately. Sad night for us. Charlie is out having to work. His, uh, it's the holiday season and his schedule has changed some. <clears throat> Considering the work he does, though, we, we we do thank him for for taking the time he does have to come and be on here with us. Uh, Brian on the couch here with us this evening, and Tim Brian's in the chair as on always. The couch. And uh, we are glad. Got shoes on. You got your shoes on. Got my shoes on. You yeah. you forgot about but somebody? But I do have R2, D2, and C3PO. Yes, it is the holiday season, and we are uh, for our YouTube people. We are trying to decorate the set as we go. We're being lazy. We're just adding pieces. As we go week to week, R two D two out here in the front though. Brian brought that over this after this evening for me. Oh, that's where you that. got it from. Yeah, t- he he brought it over. He's like, here, man, I got a gift. And I was like, oh, Dang. thanks. I almost cried because that'll set out. I'll just take the hat off and, and yeah, it can, and, and, it and he'll set out for for the yeah, rest of the. Does that season. come off? It does come off. It does come off. It does come off. And wow. I don't know if you can. Att- I don't know if you can detach it, but it does come off. And well, um, with you building a Ghostbusters pack, you could probably almost make you roll around the whole. Boston makes me feel good. Did you, did you see the pictures of Halloween with that thing on? Yes. Oh yeah, man. I was walking down, um, walking down the street, and I got like people behind me was like, "Vakeman, Vakeman." I knew they were talking to me because I was the only person in a Ghostbusters suit <laughs> oh, yeah. anywhere around. Then you should be like, "Who?" And this little girl came up and she was like, "Hey, hey, you Ghostbuster, Ghostbuster." I was like, "What?" She was like, uh, "My sister's dressed like a ghost. Can you bust her?" I was like, nice. I was like, no. She's like, yeah, come on, get rid of her for me. I'm like, Dang. Whoa. Uh, well, I said, no, I said, oh, no, no, you got to pay for that. How much? I was like, no, I'm just joking. Two bags just, of yeah, candy, just, kid. No, no, I couldn't do that Jeez. to her. John, come over here and trap this little girl. <laughs> come on, yeah, come on. That's, that's all we need. That's all I need to hear. It has been an exciting week for everybody who is a Marvel movie fan. It yeah. has been one of the greatest weeks ever. I uh, I have never in my life. Uh, those of you who've been listening for a long time understand that I teach middle school, and uh, several teachers in the building this week were uh, when the uh, Avengers: Infinity War trailer dropped, literally uh, stopped class in the middle and <laughs> made, let their class watch the trailer. That is amazing. <laughs> it was like there's three of us there. We're like, hey, hang on, bloop. It came up on our phone. We're like, hey, whoa, whoa, everybody, stop. What you doing? What you doing? Some important just came across. Now I didn't show it in class, but I did. Aaron show it. was off work that day and oh. actually was like posting on Facebook at like 8 a.m. my time, just for just for. Uh, Aaron was posting in real time. Yeah. Because he, he keeps us keeps us on track with the uh, messengers. And what's so funny about now is because like I'll be standing there behind my podium, my phone will go boop, and someone will go, "Is that one of your podcast friends?" I was like, "Yeah, it's it's Aaron down in." And that one boy, and one fellow's like, "Hey, tell him I said ha." <laughs> that one kid just starts weeping. Yeah, he's like, "It's I all, love Aaron. It's all in real." Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's my cold. <laughs> it's cold of one. <laughs> well, you got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Um, but tonight, what we're going to be talking about here, and this is something we're all extremely excited about, considering what we saw when uh, at least three of us. Aaron, did you go see Justice League? I refuse to see Justice League. God bless you, Aaron. Oh, God come on, man. And- My man. <laughs> <laughs> me, and, me and Tim bit the bullet and actually saw went it, and saw it. Not saw together. It. We went I, separately. I left, but- I left family dumping dump, <laughs> dumplings night. <laughs> To go see it. Family dumpy night. Wow. Yeah. That's, a, night. that's a weird tradition. Yeah. Hey, we all get to go around and take a dump. Did, did, anybody, watch, uh, did anybody watch the Arrowverse crossover this week? No. I'm going to watch it this weekend. It's on the Diver. I, I'm sure that it is a hundred times better than the Justice League movie. And I'm like, how can a TV show, four different TV shows, four different writers, get this so much better 
and hey, this huge there were four different picture. writers on Justice League also. Yeah, and two different directors. <laughs> and directors and Well, I mean, here's the thing is, is that I, I wish that Warner Brothers would just kind of look at it and say, okay, the, uh, the cinematic stuff is not working. Let's dump these hundreds of millions of dollars we're spending fires. into yeah. television. Let's let's put Batman and Superman on TV. Yep. And I'm not talking in this stupid, weirded out Gotham stuff. I'm talking about a CW type show. <laughs> dump money into television and go where go where the, go where the fans are. And, and Eric, the, isn't there a Superman in the Supergirl show or something? Oh yeah. He's been on there a couple of times, I think. I don't I don't watch Supergirl cuz it's Now yeah. they're starting to drop yeah. hints though. They're dropping mm-hmm. hints like on Arrow about Batman. Yeah, I heard that. They've already dropped Bruce Wayne's name once, and I think they're going to be dropping uh uh actually Batman's name. Here I, I saw I read a thing on uh, Facebook yes or today talking about that. But um what was Hey, real quick on uh on Justice League. Uh it's you know, Zack Snyder set up all this stuff in Batman v Superman about Dark Side and how Lois lands the key and blah blah blah. Well it seems like they kind of dropped all that in Justice League movie. Yeah. And now from what I hear is they're probably not even gonna do Dark Side, at least not for a very long time. They're gonna focus on the uh the Legion of Doom instead. Yeah. So it's like they're <laughs> dropping everything that Zack Snyder set up. Right. In, so like in Batman if, v Superman. So in in Batman v Superman Batman has that apocalyptic, cryptic dream about an evil Superman with an army of followers, and the bug people are yeah. Well, the, the are par- with, parademons as they the are. The parademons are yeah. are following Superman, and so the thought is is that Zack Snyder's Justice League movie was there. They they get word, and this is all spoiler alert. They get word that Steppenwolf or Darkseid is on his way. And they realize they can't defeat him on their own, and the only way they can defeat him is by reviving Superman. But when they revive Superman, he stays evil, and so the whole movie is them fighting evil Superman, which would have been awesome. And so the post, the, so the apocalyptic dream or whatever that Batman had comes to fruition, um, and basically at the end they eventually turn Superman good, and then the next movie is they're fighting Darkseid or Darkseid. Dark dark I mean, I always want to say Darkseid. Darkseid. Dark side. Dark side. Um, but obviously, so Aaron, is that what you heard also? Yeah, it sounds like the Warner Brothers execs were saying that uh, Dark Side was too similar to Thanos, so they wanted to go in a totally different direction. Well, that that brings up our that brings up a point that we're going to make later in the show is because we were going to compare Avengers to Justice League and just see exactly how they mirror each other, or better yet, how Justice League mirrors Avengers because Avengers got it right and Justice League got it so completely wrong. Dumpster fire, but. Enough about Justice League for right now, because a real movie is coming out in May. I want to trash Justice League. Okay. Well, we can fine. trash Justice. We can trash Justice League here. Nobody in a cares. Bit. Yeah, but I mean that's the whole thing. It's because like what's so funny is is that like uh, a couple weeks ago we did a we did a show and we talked about Justice League. And it took forever for it to really go anywhere because I don't think anybody really cared. People were like, oh, this is just like the movie. It's not yeah, and, and an episode that's uh, so funny about it is anytime we've actually mentioned Justice League, in no, 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 that, that one went crazy on YouTube. I don't yeah, know why. well, I don't know. but uh, It was before this poor everybody realized just how bad it was. <laughs> yeah, no, no, now ratings said. drop 10% every time. Justice but <laughs> on a... I th- when was it Wednesday when they dropped when uh, Avengers dropped Infinity War was it Wednesday yeah, morning? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Aaron was is all. it's already been calculated as being the most watched trailer yeah. in the history of trailers. Now, did you see Tuesday night the teaser release? Did I didn't you- see the, tr- so the teaser release. They did a teaser release where you know how people will record themselves watching something in reaction videos. Yeah. They, they, the teaser piece was oh yeah was all that. the different people's reactions of watching the different trailers of all the Marvel movies. And it was like saying, you know, you love these, blah, 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 basically. And then tomorrow, the Infinity War trailer is going to drop. Well, that was, that was brilliant in and of itself. And, like, that was a better trailer than, like, anything that was, like, Justice League related. The well, teaser and, was. And, and, the, and the whole thing about it was is the way they set it up. And the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is just completely on track and completely the greatest thing ever in my book because even in the trailer because they went back and they started out the trailer with the um with the things that people were saying like uh uh nick fury we mm-hmm. you know yeah. and, and, and all of a sudden you're starting to get this 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 connection came back and you're like oh yeah i remember when he said that and it builds I remember when she said that hypes and it's like oh man this is this is great so 
the trailer in and of itself is absolutely a, a piece of genius. I mean, I, I think the trailer's a piece of art myself. I mean, and sometimes you look at trailers and like, okay, yeah, that's a good trailer. But this thing was like, man, I watched it like four times just because it was such a good trailer. Yeah, I've watched it several times already. And, and like, I feel like every time I've watched it, I've picked up something else that I didn't notice the first time, like the different Infinity Stones that he has and and uh, just different things like well, that. Well, the, the first time I watched it, I thought they were, because I, I was I was kind of sneaking in under my podium while I was... While <laughs> it was kids, everybody, uh, read your, your books. Yes, uh, uh, do the primary <laughs> source on the board. We've already done Do it again. That's don't, fine. Don't do, it again. Do, do it twice. See if you can get something out of it. Glean something. Glean something. But it, it, at first, I thought they were just showing, like... Um, scenes from earlier movies yeah because it but it's not but it's not and, yeah and the the one scene that really that i that i had to go back and look again and again at is the one where bruce banner crashes yeah. looks, apparently he's crashed through the ceiling yeah he's on the floor and then you have uh dr strange, strange standing there and the assistant i can't remember his name uh, and do you remember wong. the wong wong and there's wong. they're standing there looking at him, and just the look that dr strange gives wong is like oh man it's, it's like oh so this is how they make that connection yeah. it's so like here's what i've pieced together from the trailer and aaron Feel free to tell me I'm completely wrong. Okay, so okay, uh, the first time we see Thanos, Thanos's Infinity Gauntlet, he's putting in the Tesseract Stone, but he's already got the Purple Stone, which is at Nova Corp. So the Purple Stone's like the power or the one that has the power. So my thought is, at the end of Thor Ragnarok, where his ship shows up, he's already got the Purple Stone. He shows up. And he destroys everybody on the ship or kicks kicks their butts or whatever. Sends them flying. So he sends Thor flying. He sends Hulk flying. And Hulk. that's how Hulk gets back to Earth. And then Loki gives him the Tesseract stone, which I think is uh, the Tesseract one is the one that controls the ability to like teleport. Teleport, yeah. And so that's how he's going to like come into Earth, I think, and just rock their world. Aaron, thoughts? Yeah, sounds sounds reasonable. Yeah. So um, I think that's how Banner crash lands somehow is by Thanos. Well, see, I think it's going to be one of these type of things where uh, where Thanos shows up because I mean, we see that in Ragnarok at the end, where he where his ship shows up, and I think what you'll see is I think you're going to see this one last time where Loki hooks up. I yep. guess would be the best way mm-hmm. to become this villain and tries to bargain his way because remember him and Thanos already have a. Already have a um, right. Uh, if you go back to the original Avenger movie, yeah. So what makes what I'm thinking is going to be interesting to see is just how much of I guess, for lack of better terms, how much of a uh, vendetta does Thanos have against Loki for a way he way he did not pull things off for him in the Avenger movie? I don't know. Because at one point, and I can't remember what it was in one of the. Um, uh, ending scenes of one of them, he he goes fine. I'll do it myself, and I just I was right. like, okay, well I'll that's pretty do cool. It myself. Yeah, and I think uh, I think Josh Brolin's going to be incredibly cool, even if yeah. it's just the voice. But even the even the look of Thanos, because I mean, in, in the other movies, you you see him, but it's not really. He's got the helmet on. He's got the whole battle suit. He's sitting in his chair, and it's you know it's kind of a glance or, or look. The best look you see of him is in the uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And in this one, they've got him like in a <laughs> like a cut off looking right. t shirt, and no, and he's bald. So this is the first time you really get a good look at his face, and it, to any degree, you know he's going to be in the majority of this movie. And already in this, I mean the CGI, and, I, and I'm it's a, worlds better. Oh yeah, Just I'm not even trying to. I, I don't better. want to bring up Justice League again because <laughs> talking about the Justice League movie, even versus the Infinity War trailer, it, it feels it's like you're awful. It, man. It, it, yeah, it's horrible. And Stefan Wolf looked like something out of Injustice too, and to be and Thanos to me, especially when the when that portal opens and he steps out yeah. and he does that thing with his face where he kind of looks off to the side, yeah, and looks around. Okay, I'm already sold on it. I mean, he right. he already looks real to me. I mean, that's that's that was an incredible scene. What I think is interesting, Aaron, and Aaron, I don't know, you might comment on this, is it, it looks it, obviously based off the trailer, he already has the purple stone from the Nova Corps. Like, are they going to show him getting that, or is he just gonna? Is it just gonna be like a one-off liner that you know I just already destroyed the Novas or whatever? I'm curious about that. I'm I'm hoping. I mean, it could be the end credit scene to Black Panther. That's true. I hadn't thought about you know, that. No, but it, it could be the opening scene, or I, I would I would guess it's gonna be the. I, I would bet it's gonna be the post credit scene of Black Panther. Yeah. To get everybody excited about Fendi War. Here he's he comes. You know, he's got the gem. So. Right. I was really surprised that they dropped it. 
this early. I thought the they trailer. Would, I thought it would come out with Star Wars. I was banking on Man, that. And it's hype. It is. It was a really good trailer. It, it is. It is. You just see everybody in action already. Well, and that's what Susie said. I mean, of course, my daughter, uh, those who've listened to us and understand that she is the, a world-renowned Guardians of the Galaxy fan. And she stand, She was came down the hallway at school, and, of course, one of the other teachers already showed and She was like, I've been crying. It's like, about what? what? What's wrong? Crying. What's wrong? It was so awesome. I was like, what happened? <laughs> She's like, a shield she was like, Infinity War Good trailer. Good man, a shield. <laughs> and, and, no, it was, it was at the end. I was, yeah. It was when at the end when, when Thor Luke. was like, Thor was like, where the hell are you guys? And then all of a sudden, it was just like, da, da, da. and she was like, it was the end. It was a, it was his rocket. I, was I, like, I did love how at the end Thor is missing an eye. Yes, and like yeah, I'm like, so that the 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 teaser trailer that you've seen a bootleg copy of at at Comic Con or whatever it was was misleading because he had both his eyes. Well, it, so, it was intentionally misleading. Yeah, because they didn't want you to figure out. They didn't what, want you knowing that he lost his eye to Ragnarok. Ragnarok. But um, if you haven't seen it yet, it's all over YouTube. It's it's an incredible trailer. Brian, yeah. you got any um, got anything you want to add to the Infinity War trailer? No, it did make me almost want to cry, especially with with Cap. Was yeah. Ant Man in the trailer? No, he's not. He's I don't He'll think he, I don't think he's in, he's in the movie. He's he's, he's Cause, well, yeah, but, but the, there was an the article part. there was an article that came out about him and the Wasp that they're going to play a huge role in it. Yeah. So well, probably they're just going to buzz around Thanos's head and it's so irritating. He'll, he'll, he'll kill him. <laughs> No, he won't be able to catch him. He'll be like, Bah-bah. that's the sound it's going to make when he squishes their head. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh. <laughs> they'll be like, can I get some orange slices? <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> that was Man, the best part. I love that was the oh, best the part when he gets really big. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he hits the ground. He's like, yeah, if I have any orange <laughs> slices, <laughs> that was the best. I mean, and. And once again, if you keep I mean, looking at it, even with like the Black Panther, who we haven't seen much oh, of, it looks awesome. And things and and characters from that, from 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 that movie, once again, you have Marvel who is spot on with their with their um, casting. Yeah, I mean, okay, even even though you could put anybody in there with a with a deeper voice to play Thanos, you know, <laughs> but they they pick this guy who is. Who's, who's going to be? You know that that he is Thanos. It's it's, it's almost the they same. To me George as, W. Bush to be Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that awesome. He plays George W. in some movie you or know, something. But it would still be great. <laughs> actually, my actual, fellow Marvel people, my fellow. <laughs> it does put a smile on my face. <laughs> That would have been awesome. Oh, that's, that's good. That would have been that would have been the best ever. Um, um, I wonder how. And this is the thing about it is with me is is the one scene that I think is so interesting because the trailer spends a lot of time, or apparently it spends a lot of time with the um, with some kind of battle that takes place in Wakanda. Well, so that's what makes me think also in confirming word that there is a Infinity Stone in Wakanda. So it has to be Thanos is sending his forces there, and they're trying to defend it. Aaron, what are those? What are those Stranger Things two monsters that are they're fighting? Because they don't look like they're they're not Takari. I don't know. They've got that. Um, I don't know what the name of the group is, but I don't know if they're the Thanos' ch- children the children, or, of, children of Thanos or whatever it is. Yeah, one of them's in one of the scenes. There, I think one of them's fighting Black Widow or something. So they're they're gonna be part of it. And so I don't know what those creatures are. I mean, he can. He could create him with the Infinity Gauntlet. It's it's that powerful, you know. Yeah, he can just um, create matter, basically. I, yeah. I think the Wakanda scene will be like the equivalent of the the airport battle. It'll be like the next to last battle in the movie, and then maybe it's that uh, Iron Man, Spider Man versus Thanos or something. See, uh, who was it? Saw. Now I was talking. Was it Tim? Was it you? I mean, they were talking about it, or it was maybe somebody today at, at school that we were discussing this and and something about the possibilities of. This movie being, or the Avengers losing in Infinity War, that which will oh, set up Avengers. They're 4. totally going to lose. They're going to lose. Spoiler alert! They're going to get their butts handed to them. Which I well, think, I think I think something's going to happen at the end where yep. Iron Man's got to do something to knock Thanos off the board temporarily until we get to the next movie, and then I think the next movie is where it's really going to hit the fan. You know, I uh, see. I think. I think. This movie is going to hit the fan, and and well, and I, I, mass slaughtering is going to happen. 
And well, then, this story seems to be more of Thanos' quest where he's getting the gems, and then the next movie will be the Infinity Gauntlet big throwdown. Sure, the, but I mean, they, they've, they've teased it by saying that Infinity Gauntlet's going to, or the Infinity Wars movie is going to do something that no other superhero movie no, has ever they done. Said of, they said Avengers 4. Well, not this one. The next one will oh, do something you've never okay, seen before. Oh, okay. I thought it was this one. Uh, okay. No, no it's Avengers just the 4 next is when they're one. Setting up. They're oh. setting up Avengers oh. 4. So, uh, so here, Avengers 4 was, is where they kill everybody. Here's the inter-podcast pool. <laughs> Does anybody of any importance die in Infinity War? And if so, who? Yes. That's my thought. Who is it? Yes. Uh, I, 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 I'm, my money's on Tony Stark. I think he will do something, some type of sacrifice at the end. He already did that to, once. I think to, to I th- knock Thanos off the map temporarily. I think Tony and Captain America. Think they go down together? Well, yep. No. I think Cap will be the next movie. But remember, Tony, Tony movie, but Tony's the one that has all the flashbacks of all the other Avengers laying there on the ground, true. and he's the last one to save, and that's why he came up with Vision. What came up? Ultron. Oh, uh, Ultron. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. So he's so he's well, had the Vision. What if where it's, seen it him. could be Cap this movie, and then Tony next? Because we're all hyped well, that Cap gets his shield back. <clears throat> go Team Cap. What a, what I think. My, here's what I think. I think Black Widow. I think Captain America. I think Captain America takes one for the team because he's already kind of dis, kind of he he has to redeem himself in the eyes of the world. And then and Avengers Four, Bucky takes over as Captain America, and he seeks vengeance on Thanos. That's that's my that is my. So, um, what was what was Iron Man's vision in? Uh, so the vision Age of Ultron. Is, all the all the other heroes are dead, and he's like kind of like on a rock or. Side mm-hmm. of a mountain type rock, and he's climbing kind of up, and he sees all their dead bodies. Yeah, I and think. then uh, Captain America, so, so he could have saved us. Yeah, or something. I, I think that's Avengers Four. I, I think that I think like at the end of this one, Iron Man's gonna get knocked. Up. Did we lose Aaron? Portal, Aaron? Oh. different dimension, or something with Thanos. And then oh, next so you're thinking, he'll come back. So you're thinking Infinity Quest from the comics? Yeah, this is Thanos Quest, and then. Next week, Iron Man will come back from wherever he's at with Thanos, like they're trapped somewhere. And then maybe at the end of that movie, him and Captain America will die. Aaron, or all the Avengers will die. Someone will die. Do you think they're going to play into any of this, um, like in, with the Infinity Gauntlet and with Thanos, do you think they're going to bring in any of this kind of this infatuation he had with death? I hope so. I, that's, that's like the most fascinating part about his character is he's trying to impress death. I feel like that's so going to be hard to translate the film. In my opinion, so like if you're not familiar with it, uh, in the comics there is the character Death. It's a female character, and Thanos is in love with her. And the whole it looks like a looks like a Grim Reaper, right? And the whole reason he goes out to get the Infinity Gauntlet and all the gems is to impress her and basically destroy and wipe out all of humanity, right, Aaron? Something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. He wants to wipe out the whole universe to impress her because he's in love with her. Right. Yeah. Um. I think, though, I think everybody has to die in order for it to be effective. And then, well, I think all the, and then the, the classic Avengers have to die. And the power of the Infinity Gauntlet, whoever at the end gets it, is going to bring everybody back in some way, shape, or form. I mean, that's that's the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, didn't they now, already... Didn't at one point in time, didn't the Hulk have a hold of it? In the comics? Have a hold of the Gauntlet at one point in time? Oh, in the... In the Trailer? No, 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 no. In the in the comics, that's, that's, the that's an Hulk. Aaron question. Oh, Aaron, does did uh, I, did I remember? Didn't the Incredible Hulk actually have the gauntlet at one? Like, didn't he get a hold of it at some uh, point? Uh, maybe the Maestro had it. The oh, maybe version it's, of Hulk. I, okay. I can't remember. Oh yeah, that. the Maestro. The Maestro toy came with the with Thanos's gauntlet, gauntlet or skull or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah, we're going way nerdy there, but yeah, we're getting way, Sorry. <laughs> getting way from the represses of my memory. No, yeah. but like so, I I think it could be something like you said, Aaron. I think though it's going to be Thanos and either Captain America or probably Tony Stark have something, and I think maybe just Tony Stark gets knocked out to the other dimension, and it ends with Thanos either about to take on everybody and finally acquiring it all. Then Avengers Four happens, and he but starts wiping. Here's the thing. Yeah, there's a thing. There's an Ant Man and Wasp movie coming out before Avengers Four. There's there's movies coming out in between these two. So you're thinking Thanos has to be off the scene temporarily? Well, he'd have to be off. Right. He'd have to be off the scene, or everything would have to still revolve around him. Right. So they're gonna have to have this, right. They're gonna have to bring it to a point to where they they think they've gotten rid of him, or they or whatever the case may be, or they're on guard against him. 
because that's a good point. I didn't think you, about you the couldn't, other movies. Yeah, you couldn't do it. I mean, it would just be like everything would be just be this constant war against Thanos if he wasn't gone. Yeah. So now the the Captain Marvel movie though was set in the nineties or something, so it, it it's fine. For some reason, it's going to show why she's off the board, and I think that that one is setting up the next big thing after these Infinity well, movies. Aren't they? Isn't Marvel moving to a kind of the cosmic, kind of the space heroes and things of that nature after uh, after Avengers 4? Isn't that kind of what they're going with, like Guardians of the Galaxy 3, setting up some more Captain Marvel things, some some things of that nature? At least that's what I that's one of the rumors that I heard that was the way they were going to go, was kind of go with the cosmic view of things. That would be my guess. Which would be cool by me. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Sure. I mean, so maybe, maybe uh, translate or go into, segue into... The the fake Marvel listing we saw. Yeah, are those are those movies legit, Aaron, or fake? They, in case uh, you haven't seen about it, half a, of them. <clears throat> so there's a there's a big image showing like twenty different the, the next twenty Marvel movies or whatever. Let me, let me find that here. I'm sorry. Um, I got excited and shut down my. <laughs> so like I I know obviously there's going to be a Guardians three. So like I think right. I think I I think all the Guardians will make it out of the Infinity movies fine. The only one that's a possibility is Star Lord, and he could right. be, and he could be replaced by War- Adam Warlock. Well, here's what is, here's what yep. it is. Well, I was gonna say I, I was gonna say I found this one article that I was reading the other day with they about the Evangeline Lily mm-hmm. that they talked about, and he in there it says the MCU is nearing seismic shift, Avengers Infinity War culmination, blah 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 blah. After that, the end of the MCU as we know it will arrive in the form of Avengers Four. Marvel Studios President Kevin Feige confirmed as much in a recent Vanity Fair interview about MCU saying Avengers 4 brings you brings you something you've never seen in superhero films a finale there will be yeah. two distinct periods everything before Avengers 4 and everything yeah. after it so well, I, it, I think if, like that's going to be they're setting it up that's going to be the end of the Avengers yeah as like, we know yeah today. so yeah. i think that the next Spider-Man movie they said is going to deal right away with the aftermath of Avengers 4 so i think it's going to be Spider-Man in a world without Avengers now what's going to be. Well, and here's what they have. This is a um, this is a mock-up. These are in no way, shape, or form real movies. But somebody put this together, and it's pretty cool. Something that's kind of a wish list or a Christmas, kind of a Christmas list of movies here. Marvel Studios' Secret Invasion Saga, which which is kind of a, the way they're the way they're doing it is is um, they're kind of setting up it as this is the next part of that MCU that, that we're looking at here. So, and, and that's why I think that, that Captain Marvel will be setting up Secret Invasion. Because I, I have a theory about that movie, and if I'm right, it, it'll spoil everything. So I don't know if Tim wants to take his headphones off. I'm fine. I'm fine with <laughs> okay. Marvel. I well, know. They, they I know said, a lot of the Marvel stuff, anyways. They said that Nick Fury's going to be in that uh, Captain Marvel movie that's set in the '90s. So what if at the end you find out that Nick Fury has been a squirrel this whole time, a shapeshifter? A now squirrel? That, a squirrel? <laughs> a squirrel. He's a, a squirrel. squirrel. He's a squirrel. Well, they would bring in Squirrel Girl. See, I mean, you could you could oh, just put it all together. Wow. That way, hey, Squirrel Girl played by the AT and T girl. I'm down <laughs> Did, for that. Yeah, yeah. Dun 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 dun. He like pulls it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a squirrel running a big mechanical oh body. My <laughs> Nick Fury's a squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, He's been a squirrel the whole time! My man. That's what's under the eye patch. <laughs> all squirrel head sticks out. What it, is, what it is is his whole... He is a he is a bodysuit, and they all climb in through the eye and fill him up oh. like, you know, like <laughs> like three kids oh, standing oh, on their yeah. shoulders with an overcoat. Oh, oh my so God. So when he lifts up the eye, they all just come <laughs> flying out like a waterfall of squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing. And at this point in time, I think Marvel could probably do anything like that. And everybody would be, and it would still be better in Justice League. <laughs> and everybody would oh, be yeah. like, everybody be like, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's totally yeah, yeah. Squirrels, yeah. definitely. <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say now, scrolls? Yeah, I think that's going to be the start of Secret Invasion because that's the storyline the shapeshifters have replaced key heroes. So if, if Nick Fury this whole time has been a shapeshifter, then you might go, it'd be a big shocker. Oh, okay, here's the list. Here, here's what they said. This is the Secret Invasion saga, as this person said it. Once again, this is in no way, shape, or form any type of real. This is just a fantasy that somebody put together. And these are the movies that they said they would like to see in it. Uh, the first one here is Nova, which I could, which I would be down for. I think we need a Nova movie. They're going to have to. I don't know. They're not going to have to. But it would be cool even if they just throw a Nova movie together that shows them fighting Thanos. 
Well, they they should have put Nova in the Guardians of the Galaxy already by now because right. it's it's a big part of it. But anyway, I want to see a Nova movie. Uh, I think this one sounds pretty cool if they were put it together. Doctor Strange, Illuminati. That, that, but you'd have to have uh, but you'd already have to have the re you'd already have to have the rights back to the uh, Fantastic Four for that because mm. of Reed Richards being part yeah, of it. Yeah, Black Bolt, Xavier. Yeah, so yeah. that'd be cool, but I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> another one they have out here is uh, Black Widow. Uh, that would be a, that'd be another movie they'd like to see in that. So, like uh, Aaron and I have discussed this uh, off to the side is there was going to be a Black Widow movie, but they pretty much combined it into Captain America two, where they told uh, her backstory. And all they just like yeah, we're yeah. Just that was that was one of the scripts they were thinking about doing. They went with Guardians of the Galaxy instead, so they they shelved that one. Terrible choice. They um, <laughs> this person also said they, the movie that they that on their fantasy list would be one called The Unstoppable Wasp. Um, I think that's once again it's one of them side characters, which I don't know if they could actually kind of carry the movie itself. Yeah, there's not a there's not a lot of wasp villains or or things to draw on, you know, yeah, like these not essential a lot of, wasp stories. Not now, a lot of clamoring for wasp. I don't yeah, think. well, but I'd like to. See, I mean, it wouldn't be it'd be all right to see her like back somebody up as a second in the in a movie, being somebody who who or is Tony running Rose or whatever. Yeah, yeah, running along with somebody. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, which we already know is happening, so that one's there. Oh, and uh, they put this one in there, which I'm keeping. My, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed on all this 20th Century Fox Disney stuff because they've got the Marvel uh, Fantastic Four movie. Oh man, I wish, the way it should be. I yeah. wish Disney could. Like I know there's rumors out there that they could, and if they pulled that off, man, and then instantly get the rights back to to Fox, that gives them. Fantastic Four, what, X-Men, right? Yeah, in? X-Men. It basically yeah, gives them I, everybody. I almost feel like there's a deal for Fantastic Four already on the table. Because if you look at all these X-Men TV series that are popping up and stuff, it almost feels like they've made a deal behind right. the scenes regarding Because Fantastic there Four. was there was some kind of, in the initial deal, it was like something like Marvel still owned TV rights or something. And so that's why you hadn't seen a lot of X-Men TV series. And so the rumor was that you give us back rights to Marvel or the Fantastic Four in the movies, we'll let you start making your X Men TV series, right, Aaron? Right, right. And Marvel didn't have access to like Ego, the Planet, and the Watcher and stuff. All of a sudden, they're popping up in movies. So something, something's going on behind the scenes. You know, I don't know if it's the full rights to Fantastic Four, but but there's something going on behind the scenes. What if at the end of Avengers three? Reed Richards rolls in. Oh my goodness! Everybody be just <laughs> really lose their minds. Be lo- everybody, everybody be so. Everybody's gonna be so cracked out already on, on Infinity Wars. Everybody's going. Oh, people just happen. Falling just, around in the people theater. Just be, be like, the thing just shows up and goes. It's clobbering time. <laughs> <laughs> and then awesome. Thanos just smashes in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Clobber that. And then what's his? And then what's his name? Uh, from Kronk from <laughs> Korg. Korg. This is. I should have told him. <laughs> and then he what would be really crazy is when the Fantastic Four shows up and. Chris Evans is playing dual roles <laughs> as both be. Captain America <laughs> and, Johnny and, and Johnny Storm. I could I could dig with that. I could dig. if if Marvel was able to do a Fantastic Four movie, I, I would I would definitely go for it. Um, let's see what else we got here. Guardians of Three, Fantastic Four. They have another Thor movie set in, but I think that's kind of off the table. I think Thor's over after. I think so Infinity. too. I, I think that my Thor though might be. Um, a reference to Jane Foster and yeah. Thor, yeah, the yeah. girl Thor, but, or Beta Ray Bill. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, Black Panther, Secret Empire. I can see him making some more of those. Uh, Ant Man uh, versus the Masters of Evil. I thought that one was one that didn't seem real. But I don't see him fighting the Masters of Evil. Yeah. Uh, Namor the Submariner. Yeah, I can see that one. That one might possibly show up sometime. Uh, Captain. Vo- oh, whoa, hang on. My phone just went crazy. Captain uh, Captain Marvel and the Valkyries. This I did. This she with the Valkyries in the comics, Aaron. I don't know. I don't know that much about Captain Marvel. Uh, look at here. I can't read that one. Oh, Spider Man Dimensions. I'm sorry. That, uh, I, don't kinda, that yeah, I don't know what that Aaron, is. Aaron, what is Spider? What is it called? Spider Man Dimensions. Oh, is that how we get Spider Man 2099? That might be uh, Spider Verse, where all the Spider Mans are the different worlds. Oh, okay. Yeah. <sighs> uh, let's see here. Finish it off here, real quick. Uh, Warlock, referring to Adam Warlock. That's a movie. He, this guy says he'd have in there. The uh, thun- yeah, in, in the comic books, Warlock. And this is a big spoiler if they go this route. He, he'll he'll get the Infinity Gauntlet and split up the gems among a team, mm-hmm. and that team's called the Infinity Watch. 
So I could see them getting a series of movies because the team has like Drax and Gamora and stuff. It so basically takes the place of, of, of Guardians. Right, which because is, Marvel keeps doing trilogies. So once the Guardians trilogy is up, then they'll switch to... Right, which if... Which which means Chris Pratt as Star Lord could be some kind of sacrificial character in the Avengers right. movies with Adam Warlock then taking the Infinity Watch over and using the characters of the Guardians to be the holders of the stones or the gems. Yeah. And that, of course all this is a big if <laughs> yeah. because this is all I But Warlock Adam Warlock is supposed to come in the Guardians verse because he is the cocoon yeah. in the end scene. Of Guardians 2. And the last two on the list the here. Gold, the gold people. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Last two on the list mm-hmm. is Thunderbolts. Which and, would be great. And then they have Avengers 5 on there as well. The possibilities of an Avengers 5. I don't think will happen. Mm-hmm. The thing about the Thunderbolt, they, it's going to be hard to do because they haven't introduced. So, spoiler alert. Burr, burr, Thunderbolts is a set of heroes that turn out to actually be villains in disguise. And if right. You the only one they've introduced is Baron Zemo. Yeah. So, if you don't have these villains already flushed out into the the verse it's not going to be such a shock which by the way he's talking about baron zemo possibly one of my most disappointing moments in <laughs> in marvel history because they're talking, oh baron zemo's gonna be and i was like oh and then it's this guy and he's like i'm well i think originally agents of shield was trying to set up thunderbolts because or because there are two or three characters th- that are in there that showed up in agents of shield there's the the gravity person, and then there's like a one of the other guys. I don't remember all of them. I think they were trying to do it, but Agents of Shield was such a flop of a TV show that they abandoned it because these. Well, see, they've had those fights behind the scenes where now the movie and television divisions are separate. Yeah, which is why you don't get Daredevil and all these people in the movies. Which which is a shame because you just don't have some throwaway scene where they're fighting in New York and getting their butts kicked or something. <sighs> We're here to help you. No, no. And then Thanos goes. <laughs> and, and you know that there's a there's an issue behind the scenes because in Spider Man Homecoming they refer to the FBI and not as, not to Shield, so they're not even mentioning Shield in the movies anymore. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, never mind. I know Shield premiered tonight, and they're in like the they're space. in outer space, and they've been oh, trying it's to just, hype it it's up. just getting worse. Coulson, and, where are we? At? Where are we at? It's it's it's, it's just coaching. like it's just I'm like so back in the. It's just like back in the late 70s when they had Buck Rogers on TV and the first couple seasons was on Earth, and then they had Hawkman come on, and then they all went into outer space and met all them. I don't know. It was just, and then it just went off. I mean, that's just the way it you is. You just went Buck Rogers on, a, on a uh, people that are like, who's Buck Rogers? <laughs> this shows my age, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tweaky. Yes. Aaron's, and Dr. What was his name? Dr. Ceramus or something they had on his I don't chest? Was it Tweaky or something? It was Tweaky. Yeah, I met Tweaky one time at a sure car you, show. It was at a car like, show, dude. Doing impressions. He was, he was like, he was like, beep, 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 beep. I was like, oh, Tweaky. I was like six, man. You gotta give it up. We didn't have much doing back in the late seventies, early eighties. Was it a, a Carl Casper? Yeah, or whatever? it was Carl Casper. Come on, me Twiggy. It was Carl Casper. <laughs> we got a Would You Rather this evening as we close out. <clears throat> Avengers. After anymore. after we do this, Would You Rather, I'm gonna trash Justice League for three minutes. He's gonna trash three minutes. A couple weeks ago, we decided we were going to do something a little different with our uh, Would You Rathers. And this week is the percentage week of Would You Rathers. So th- I'm going to ask two questions, and then we have to choose whether or not more people chose the red one or the blue one, depending on what it is, and then just kind of give our own opinion on it. So here it is this week. Would you rather live in a video game of your choice or have a video game character of your choice be your friend? What did more Ooh. people in America say? They said live in a video game. Yeah. Although, yeah. I, although I would probably do the opposite. What do you say, Brian? I think the majority would have said I'm live in the game. living in a video game. Aaron, what do you say? It's like a bunch of, maybe it's a bunch of weirdos picking Laura Croft <laughs> or something. exactly what I was thinking. But, yeah. <laughs> Tim's, Tim, <laughs> I'll say it. Charlie's not here to say his tagline tonight. So he's like, tag, living in tag. tag. <laughs> Aaron's already, oh, I live in tag. <laughs> <laughs> at least we can laugh about it all right here it is the percentages are you all are with the majority 52 percent said they would live really? like to live that in a video close. game versus 48 percent who said have a video game character as your choice john let me ask be you both friend. of those questions what would be your answers on both of those which video game world would you live in Ooh. and which character would you have live with you oh i would say as far as if i'm going to live in a video game mm. Oh my goodness! I th- I think it's good. 
That's a hard one because I don't know. Mm. I really like the Uncharted games. I can good. live in the Uncharted universe. I could do that. I can live in what Uncharted. character are you having living with you? I don't know. King Griffey Jr. from <laughs> the show. <laughs> Just give me somebody that's rich. <laughs> give me somebody rich to live with I me. don't know. It's hard to answer that question because, you know, you talk about people living with you, then you start sounding pervy. Depending oh, on exactly you're like, I want Princess Peach, please. Yeah. Laura Croft. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm uh, Yoshi, in the, I'm living in the yeah. original. So I can ride on Yoshi, oh, Aaron. I want to hear your answer to both these questions. I know that you've thought about this probably way before <laughs> this question was even asked. Uh, I'm gonna go with some weird answers and go with uh, Star uh, Fox. Portal. Uh, I'll probably go with Portal because I want a Portal gun. That'd be cool. And uh, I don't know, King Hippo. I, I don't know. <laughs> Why do you want King Hippo to live with you, Donkey for? Kong? I don't know. Do you want to hit him in his belly so his pants will fall down? Yeah, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> I want Snake from Metal Gear to live with me. Shoot. <laughs> I was hoping to get like the Gandalf, <laughs> and so he'd kill me. All right, Tim, you got two minutes. No, 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 no. Right, John, 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 three. Justice League, Justice League. Okay. You got three minutes on the clock. First, Go. first complaint is they totally, totally undid every empowering women's rights things from the Wonder Woman. Agreed, 100%. Like, every shot of Wonder Woman not in her Wonder Woman outfit is either a low-cut cleavage shirt or tight leather pants with a gratuitous butt shot. Yeah. Every single scene. It, it just totally wipes it out, and, and it is not empowering, I don't think. Second thing, Cyborg looked awful. Like, when he was just really? wearing the hoodie... You're like, oh, it's a pretty cool little cyborg. He takes the hoodie and the, and the stuff, and so you see his cyborg body. It's like a badly Photoshop drawing. <laughs> no, his his silhouette is his waist is so thin. It, it's it's awful. Really? Did you notice that? Like, he's, yeah, I, he's, I he's like that. a badly drawn comic book. His his shoulders are really broad, and he comes in like an hourglass, super thin, and then he has these super like robot legs. It, like it's terrible. Uh, Aquaman needed an air bubble to speak underwater, <laughs> which <laughs> makes no sense. He goes underwater and he sees the other girl from Atlantis, and he makes a giant air bubble for them to talk in. It looked like the cone of silence from the old Get Smart. <laughs> looked like a giant <laughs> fart bubble. <laughs> it, it was just like, Whoa. okay, we can talk. Oh, this makes me mad. I'm leaving. <laughs> They leave, and I, it looked like the whole time. It looked like the whole time they were underwater. It was like every character was holding their breath. It, it wasn't like a natural. I'm I am the king of Atlantis. I can breathe underwater with fish. It looked like he was like, <laughs> and like that's why he had to make an air bubble. So he goes, fire. And so, the Flash was actually pretty good, like as as like a character, but other than the fact. That he had to do some stupid pose to run. He had to like put his hand, <laughs> had to like put his hand down on the ground and then run, and like he had to have lightning bolts the whole time. Yeah. But every time he ran, he tripped. I don't think there was a scene in the movie really? besides when he saved that people at the end that he ran and he didn't trip on like a piece of a rock or somebody's foot <laughs> or something. It was so stupid. Superman actually was done right from a powers perspective. Probably the best thing in the movie is where they revive him and he's crazy and they're all attacking him and he just demolishes him. When he headbutts Wonder Woman like into yes. oblivion, that was that was awesome. <clears throat> and there's this scene, Brian, I'll show you later, where 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 Wonder Woman and Cyborg and Aquaman are all like grappling with with Superman and like trying to hold him at bay and Flash starts to take off real fast and they're going in slow motion to like show him running and he's you know they're all in slow motion he's running real fast and it kind of cuts to the Flash it cuts to the scene where they're fighting and they're slow motion and Superman just kind of in the same speed as the Flash cuts his eyes over and looks at the Flash yeah, that was actually pretty and you're like because I'll you know he's, he's super fast yeah. and then he like goes in motion and fights but then Batman was just a whiny baby the whole movie and was just like in love with Superman. <laughs> <laughs> he was. And then I don't know if you caught this, but when he when Superman picks up Batman by the face and he starts quoting all the lines from the from Batman vs Superman or whatever, it's like he's speaking with a British accent. Yeah, he's like, I say that, Sam. <laughs> he's like, he's like, do you bleed? <laughs> like, who is this 
this voice. Hello there, Superman. I'm so glad and we get to meet. And the badly photoshopped face. Yeah. You could tell. But here, here is the craziest thing, and I'll stop after this. There is this whole side plot about this family that lives near the nuclear... I didn't get that. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I had there no clue. Was just this random what? family. <laughs> Dalishka, do not go over okay. near the window. So I was Ste- like, what? So Steppenwolf is 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 using his base of operations as it looks like Chernobyl. Yeah, is what it's supposed it to be basically. like, basically. It's this it's this wasteland of a nuclear, and he's making this old power plant like his base of operations, and all around it is a desolate city where all the outcasts go. Well, and yeah. so like there's like this trailer of a family of four. Okay. And they're just sitting there trying to get like a radio to work, and all of a sudden, like the whatever the parademon starts showing up, and the, it shows them like huddled up under the table. And so my my <laughs> thought all along was that at some point at the end of the movie, Superman's going to show up out of nowhere and save these people, and it's going to be this triumphant Superman returns. No, no. Every thirty, every twenty, thirty minutes, we cut back to this family, and their situation has gotten worse. Okay, but here's the thing about their situation getting worse: <laughs> is that at first they're like in their house, the parademons are flying around, and then it's like the next scene they're like, "Okay, you got parademons, interdimensional warriors, they're boarding up their window, and, th- and they've got like their table pushed up in front of the window, but they're but it's just sitting there against the window. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't like somebody couldn't push it from the other side. And then the little girl goes and gets bug spray. Yeah, and you're like, what? And it made no and sense. So it it just. It just keeps cutting back randomly, and it's just getting a little bit worse, a little bit worse. And you're like, what is the point of this family? But but, th- but you do understand something with me as I'm watching it. I actually became more emotionally invested in that movie <laughs> than the Justice League movie that was actually <laughs> so So finally at the end, they're having this huge battle, and, and he's got all the, the mother boxes. Yeah. Together and it's basically recreating the earth and it's sending out these like rock vines. Sort of like what Zod did in <laughs> Man of Steel. And so finally what happens is this family is about to get destroyed by the rock vines and they're in their truck escaping and Flash goes and saves them. That's it. That's the whole point of the family is to give the Flash a a scene at the end of saving people. That's it. Yeah, it was was pretty. I I have no clue. I was just kind of like, what? What in the world? This was at the point in the movie, though, at the at the mo- most action packed moment that I looked over at Susie, and she's like, <laughs> her, she's like, her head's laying on my shoulder. She's like, out. Oh my gosh! It's like wake up. And, she's and like, and so, yeah, I have no idea. Like you could tell that obviously these were like two or three different movies that they they cut together. Okay, I lied. I got two more things to say. One, the very beginning, very very beginning opening scene was. Awful, John. I, it was I, awful. It's, oh, it's, it's I like liked it. it's it's a phone video. It showed his humanity of Superman after he just like saved somebody, and it's two little kids talking, and it's the most two cliche little kid voices in the world. It's like Superman. I think it was actually. <laughs> I think it was actually Zack Snyder and Josh Whedon <laughs> doing so, the voices. And so like they're asking Superman <laughs> questions, and you can tell it was one they reshot because his face looks so <laughs> terrible. He's got this <laughs> giant upper lip. Oh, that because of his mustache or whatever? Yeah, because they photo. <laughs> and so they're asking him these questions, and like I think one of the kids says something like, have you ever fought a hippo? Yeah. Yeah, they ever fought a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> and so they said, they said, what's, what's, what's your Superman symbol? It stands for hope. Well, then why, why, it's in, why is it an S? Well, it's like a winding river going in and out of, Hope or something. I don't know. It's just stupid. And then they ask him what like what's your favorite genre? Is it what's your favorite part about Earth? Yeah. Or something? Humanity. Humanity. And he goes, Well and he kind of looks off to the side and the video stops. And it goes into There the was actually the one scene where I really thought that Adam Baldwin was playing Superman. He makes this grimacing look. He's like, Yeah. And that's like, is that Adam Baldwin? Does <laughs> it look just like Adam Baldwin? The, the like, worst <laughs> like I know Superman is a boy scout. And he's cheesy, but there's this scene where Steppenwolf's fighting somebody at the end, and he says something about truth. And all of a sudden, Superman goes, "I'm a pretty big fan of truth." And I don't turns remember ar- it. He turns around and he goes, "And of justice." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's like, even worse than a dumpster fire. And Aquaman's like, "My man, my man!" <laughs> and then at the very, very, very last clip in scene is Lex Luthor has escaped from prison. He's out on a yacht. And and uh, 
Deathstroke. Deathstroke shows up, and it's freaking Joe, whatever his name is from from True Blood, (laughs) is playing Deathstroke. Like, great. What is this going to turn into Magic Mike or something? (laughs) From the Pee Wee movie. (laughs) (laughs) Pee Wee movie. You're you're so stupid. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Well,. That's if it. You, if you haven't seen, I'm out. If you haven't seen it, go watch uh, Avengers oh, Infinity and, when, Wars. Oh, when uh, Aquaman oh, sits God. on the, the rope of truth and starts <laughs> telling all this truth and gets all emotional. Right after he had just uh, objectified Wonder Woman. After he just told woman, Wonder Woman how hot she was. She's like, you look... You're hot. You're hot. And she's like, and it, she's like, he's sitting on the rope. And here she is. She's and supposed to be, you know, this like incredible Amazon. empire Amazon. She's like, <laughs> I was like, forget it. Susie's like, <laughs> Carla's on her phone. She was wearing this one low cut shirt that was so low cut. I was like, who would ever wear that in public? <laughs> Uh, oh my you will God. if you're Wonder Woman. Well, <laughs> there are scenes where where people are having discussions, and the scene is shot directly behind Wonder Woman's butt. It's like <laughs> there's no point. Why are you shooting it well, from it her like, butt's perspective? It was like it. It was like at the very. Um, <laughs> Like at the beginning fight scene, she comes running in, and it's in slow motion, and there it is. There, there's her rear, and it's like, oh! <laughs> the it's very like, first wow. fighting scene, she's up on a ledge, and she lassos a guy and brings him up to her, and it shows it from his perspective, looking up her skirt. <laughs> I was like, I'll oh, forget like, it. You guys have destroyed Wonder Woman. It was, it was a in bad two seconds. It was the dumpster fire Brian warned it would be, <laughs> but we didn't listen. All right, well, we thank everybody for listening to us this evening. We're running, sorry, we're running long. Our bad. It was longer than Aaron, three minutes. Yeah, longer than thirty minutes, but you know we're good. Like a half hour longer than thirty minutes tonight. <laughs> double but, double uh, impact. Want to thank everybody who's continuing to listen to us on SoundCloud and Facebook, and uh, uh, continued support on go YouTube. Go see Justice League. Yeah, go see it. Go see it for yourself. It'll make you smile. Mm. Eat some bacon crackers and. Uh, Continue to like, share, and subscribe to us on uh, YouTube. Thank you, all all you YouTube people, for listening to us and putting up with this this dumpster fire of a podcast that we, hey that we have. No, but, we're, uh, we're, we got more views than Justice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. might be true. Burn. But anyways, uh, Star Wars Episode uh, Eight coming out in, in two weeks. Next week we're going to be doing uh, getting kind of geared up for that and ready yep. to go. And uh, we I got, got some big Ewok news next week. Yeah, and uh, the village. We've already got me. tickets, so the. We've already got tickets, and uh, we 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 record this every two weeks. So uh, the next time we record, we'll be so jacked up on uh, uh, Star Wars because we we actually got uh, tickets to go see it on Thursday evening. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to actually talk Aaron into going and seeing it on Thursday. Oh, and then Friday we record, so it's going to be another one of those Ragnarok <laughs> moments. But uh, we thank you all for listening to us and appreciate it. And y'all have a good evening. Merry Christmas. See Start you later, Sorry, Brad. Go see Justice League. Don't see it.